All right, guys. I forgot my tripod again. Sorry about that. So hopefully this looks good. Um, connected to the Wi-Fi at work here, and I'm going to test this out with my Vita, whether how well the game streaming works. Uh, one important thing to note is that um, the Vita only has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Um, so I only connected to the uh, guest network at work, or in the legacy guest network at work, actually. Um, let's see if I can connect. I'm going to make this quick. Probably won't be playing around too much. I'm also not super sure how well it'll run, to be honest. It worked well on my phone. Um, but we'll see. We'll do some Dark Souls. I also... Um, Vita doesn't have as much debugging output, or doesn't have any, I think it just saves it to a log file. Um, I have it off right now, I believe, but there's no way to show it to you on the display. All right, as you can see, I ordered some pizza last night. <laughs> okay, let's see. There we go. Mouse also seems pretty good. Um, I actually might be too excited now. Let's turn up the volume. Not much. No, actually, no stutter or anything like that on the audio. So last time I played this game, I killed everyone at Shire, uh, Firelink Shrine. I wonder if they spawn again. Yep, there they are. So I don't know how well you can see this. Um, oops, I keep touching the back panel buttons. Um, it actually works super well. Like, this might have been even better than when I was playing at home, honestly. So let me see if I can get you to look at that well. Oh shit, this guy's dead. Why did I kill him? Hope he comes back. So the main issue really with the Vita is the fact that you only have L and R buttons. Um, and these serve as sort of your L2 and L3. So let me focus on that. Basically, that's R2 and that's R3. It works okay if I have the grip on, um, but when I don't, it's kind of awkward and I accidentally touch it a lot or anything like that. I'll show you the grip in another video. Uh, we don't want to go Ring City, Ring Dinner Wall. But yeah, this works well like super well again um, I lived about two miles away from my home so I was not really traveling very far let's get this guy he's zooming a little bit up it's an awkward angle for me, but... Ah, you bastard. So again, I'm tapping the back panel for the L3. But it works well. There's no stutter or anything like that. I'm actually kind of really surprised like, at how well this is running. And I said that last time, but... I feel like this is even better than on my local network, because I was getting some stuttering and stuff. Occasionally, not always. But yeah, this works well. I don't know how well you can tell on the camera versus the screen and everything, but... <laughs> this is really good. And I think I'm just going to make this a short video and go home. But 
I hope that shows you the capabilities a bit and how you can really use this device once you hack it for almost anything, honestly. Um, especially when you pair it with streaming, you can basically do it with almost anything as long as you've got a good computer at home um, with the right GPU, of course, damn NVIDIA. But as long as i got a good connection, I guess if I'm fairly close to, to my home base, I don't know what the distance would be like before it starts becoming noticeable. I'm only two miles away, so of course that's nothing really, and especially when you're traveling at fractions of the speed of light. Um, and it's probably more direct, there's not as many repeaters or whatever going on when it comes to talking to different ISPs and different nodes and relaying stuff. Um, if I were to, you know, be in Florida and then trying to do this in California or vice versa, you know? Um, but for my purposes, at least for this distance, or if you're in school and you just want to, you know, play your PC games while you're, you know, you're in between classes, or even if maybe you're going away from school, you don't want to lug your computer around, you just leave it on, um, and then use something like this to do all your remote, remote gaming. So you just, you know, bring your laptop, your your Vita, or whatever you, device of choice, it doesn't really matter, as long as it can properly decode at a quick enough time and receive everything. And you can just, yeah, take it anywhere you go. It's like your own personal stadia. Um, with that, thank you. Bye.